Hey, I'm Skyler. If you're getting an error when you go to manage your Apple ID settings or sign into your account or change, change a credit card or anything like that that says that Apple ID is already in use or Apple ID exists and you can't change the information, you could pound your head at it in a myriad of ways, but the easiest thing to do is follow along with what I'm going to show you on the screen. Type in this URL, expresslane.apple.com. From here, it's going to show you how to contact Apple support. What you want to do is click right here, iTunes, this one. Okay, it's going to open up another menu to the right, and the one you want is iTunes Store right here. So click that. It'll bring you to another page. Now, there are a couple options here. The one you want is Account Management. So click on that, and to the right, it says lost or forgotten Apple ID password, forgotten Apple ID security options, security blah blah blah. The one you want is managing or editing an Apple ID. So check that off and look down at the bottom. Please tell us more about the issue. Just type in what you're experiencing. So I'm getting an error message that says Apple ID already exists. Now Choose the iTunes store that's appropriate for you, in this case, the United States, and click Continue. The page will redirect you to Solutions. It shows you a help topic article, so you can read an article that might give you some ideas about how to fix the problem on your own. Another thing you could do is either click Talk Support Now or Schedule a Call or email. So if there's a time when it would be convenient for you for an Apple advisor to call you, just click schedule a call. Or if you want them to call you right away, click talk to support now and they will call you and help you solve the problem. They're really easy to get along with and their success rate is really high. So this is, I think, the fastest and most efficient way to solve your problem. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.